What's up, new new devs? This is Froggy2K9, and today I'm bringing you a little game frame. Game frame? Yeah, game frame. Gameplay from the PC. Uh, today's subject is actually uh, called Lucid Dreaming. Now, this is a subject that I came across not too long ago, and I know a lot of you're going to say straight off the bat, and you're going to be like, um, "Well, you know, it's it's completely natural," and uh, you know, all you need to do is clean the sheets and uh, throw your pajamas in the wash, and it's fine, you know. No, no, no. Lucid dreaming is not wet dreams. There is a difference. There is a big difference. Let me tell you that difference. Lucid dreaming is where you dream, but you have the entire control over your dream. So, no, you know, um, you can do anything you want. You can... That's, that's the big thing about it. You can do anything you want. And it happens. That's it. You can make anything happen. Nothing can change. You know, it's, nothing's going to go bad because it's your dream. It goes the way you want it to go. So if you wanted, you could, um, you know, uh, what, what, could, what could you do? Uh, you could punch a cop in the face if you wanted to. Just an example. Um, you could go ahead and do drugs. Because it's your dream. You know, you can do it. It's your dream. No one can say any different. Um, well, what else? What, you know, anything you want to do. You know, if you want to fly a plane, you can go ahead and pick up the pilot, throw him out the window, and fly the plane. Just because it's a lucid dream. It's what you want it to be. Whatever you want happens. That is what a lucid dream is. Lucid dreams are very, very rare among normal people. The average person will generally only have, say, three or four lucid dreams in their lifetime, and they won't even be aware it's happening most of the time. So sometimes they won't even do anything because they believe they're not dreaming, they're actually awake, and then suddenly you wake up. It's like, it's like it happens to a lot of people. You, you know, you're dreaming and then suddenly you wake up. It's like, well, I, I thought I was awake already. You know, that's because you were lucid dreaming. But you didn't realise it. Because you didn't know what signs to look for. You didn't know you didn't know what to do to lucid dream in the first place. So therefore you didn't know you were lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming is a really, really good thing. It's really fun and if you can do it, more ups to you because it's amazing. It will there are many many steps, it takes hundreds of hours, it's it's a bit like meditation in a way, except for the fact that meditation is the complete absence of thought. But what I'm saying is it's like meditation is where it takes discipline, it takes a long time, and you know, it requires incredible control, and it can sometimes be too difficult for some people to handle. But what can lucid dreaming do for you? Well lucid dreaming can add, add up to hours and hours and hours of normal sleep. If you can lucid dream for half an hour, your body will be as rested as if it was, you know, uh, say you'd slept for eight hours and you've only slept for like half an hour. That's, that's the type of thing that lucid dreaming does for you. It's just simply because you have so much control because your body is so calm, so rested, and you have complete control over your mind. It just feels like you've been sleeping for longer than you actually have. So, if you can lucid dream, it's, it's a really, really good thing. Um, what brought me onto this subject was uh, was actually an episode of um, American Dad. And uh, I heard the term lucid dream, and I was like, hmm, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting. So, after doing some research, using that internet and... Uh, some other things I found out what lucid dreaming was and found out that you know it could be so so good so I thought I'd give it a try and I'm yet unsuccessful to uh, to perform a lucid dream and I will keep you up to date if I ever do manage to actually you know lucid dream as it is as a guy hiding in the back with a javelin C4 no friend killed him <laughs> uh, yeah so um. I suggest you take a look into it. It's uh, it's an interesting subject. It kind of kind of sparks my interest a bit like meditation. So it kind of sparks my interest. Except I'm, just, you know, that that's just incredible. You know, it can take years and years and years and years and years to actually properly meditate. And it's like, whoa, you know, I ain't got time for that. 
<laughs> I have, but I, I can't be asked to do that. You know, I'm too lazy for that. So uh, lucid dreaming is 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 more my kind of thing because I can I I sleep for hours anyway. You know, most of the time I will go to bed about eleven o'clock, maybe twelve sometimes. Uh, depending on whether it is, you know, if it's a weekend, a lot of the time I will stay up until about two in the morning, three in the morning sometimes, but I will sleep until 3 o'clock in the afternoon the next day. Sometimes I won't even wake up for dinner. You know, that's the type of hours I'm talking about. I'm talking about, you know, 12, 13 hours of sleep, and I, I can still go, you know, it's, uh, especially when I've been drinking. If I've been drinking, I can sleep an entire day. You know, I can sleep 20, 24, some, I've, the longest I've ever slept was uh, th um, 20, 26 hours. It was the longest I've ever slept, and that was just flat out, just passed out one day and uh, woke up sometime, you know, in the future. It was, uh, it was kind of, kind of freaky, really. I was really hungry, extremely hungry. You know, I, that's that's what woke me up in the end. The uh, the hunger pain that ended up waking me up. It wasn't really anything else. But you know, that's just kind of thing I do. You know, I've had a lot of people say that I hibernate. I don't sleep. And it's true. I do. I hibernate. I don't sleep. You know, who 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 needs sleep when you have hibernation on your side? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but lucid dreaming. This is kind of sparked my interest. I've I've been looking into it, and uh, I've been thinking about doing it. Just wanted to add to the end of this a little update, though. Um, I've got a little bit of an animation, and uh, I will show you eventually the animation. But I've I've got to get it right first. And not, at the moment, it's only like a stick figure doing an animation. But once I get it right, it will be it will be all ready for the uh, for the podcast that I'm hoping to start up. And there's a little spoiler there. You know, I'm starting up a podcast at some time. But um, yeah, so I've got a little bit of animation. Blah. little bit of an animation. It's only a stick figure at the moment, which is why I need to figure out how to rip the uh, the Call of Duty characters, and I mean um, the ones from Zombies, the uh, the four characters from that. Once I can figure out how to rip them from World at War and actually use them to uh, oh god to to uh, put over the stick figure so that they'll be animated too. I can then put together the animation properly and possibly possibly get the intro ready. But it is extremely difficult. It really is, you know. I, I can believe how difficult Cinema 4D is to use. You know, I've never used anything like it. Uh, it's not like a normal video editor or anything like that. I thought, you know, it's it's just going to be like a video editor just in sort of 3D, but it's not. It's a complete separate entity from from that side of programs, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite difficult to, u to use. So um, anyway, uh, the game's coming up to an end here. Uh, see if you can lose a dream if you are interested about it. Go ahead and check it up on the internet. It's a pretty interesting subject. It's been Frog2K9. Happy days. <laughs>